on cobblestone. That's right. Okay, in a bunker. This is uh, September 25th, Beirut, Lebanon. Uh, our uh, position here is about uh, half a mile uh, northwest of the uh, end of the runway of Beirut International Airport. Okay, in a bunker here, I got uh, Lance Corporal Vineyard. Lance Corporal Kirkman and HM3 Walters, which he's the corpsman. So everybody say hello to mom and dad. Hi, mom and dad. Okay. I'm having so much fun, mommy. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. You got that? He's not serious. <laughs> um, but um, we're all doing okay, and um, I'm in good health, good spirits. Uh, <laughs> let's see. All the fighting has uh, died down now. It's not as uh, sporadic as it was. About 15 minutes ago. And. Um, We have um, six um, one one five five millimeter one nine or eight oh. howitzers. We fired back numerous times. Um, Naval gunfire. Oh yeah, that's right. Naval gunfire is also fired back from the USS Bowen and the USS Virginia. Okay, and it's here. I know, we're waiting for her to fire. Okay. It's got uh, nine 16 inch guns, which is right. some really nice firepower sitting off the coast here. And support for us if something does happen. We know the Navy, they can't hit nothing. Uh, they're pretty good. Average. But uh, in the bunker here, we got uh, a M M2 Browning 50 caliber machine gun with 900 rounds. Point, right? We got uh, three law weapons, which is the same thing as a bazooka. I guess you could really explain it as that. Um, three of those, and we got uh, our rifles here with numerous rounds, so we're well protected. 145. Oh yeah, Doc's got a 45. With 10 rounds. With 10 rounds. <laughs> and um, one Marine Corps flak jacket and one Marine Corps grape cover. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> we got four of those. Mm -hmm. One for each body. Let's see. <sighs> Talk about it, we got two more wounded. Yeah. Tonight? Mm -hmm. Tonight? Yeah, we got two more wounded tonight. Um, the, um, yeah, it's coming in. Oh! That was artillery round that landed good ways away. <laughs> yeah. That was wild. Um, the chow's good here, basically, you know. We have uh, two hot meals a day, then an MRE, which is meals ready to eat. It's a dehydrated uh, meat and uh, fruit that comes in a little package. We have one of those a day. Uh, we have barbecues on Sunday, some video movies usually on Sunday, until here recently, and they've cut that out. Um, but, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If the Druze let us, right? Which are the Muslims? The ragheads. Right. Yeah, um, yeah. Let's see what else. The uh, Tell Travis and Karen hello. I've received numerous letters from Karen, but uh, tell Travis to write. I know he's not that much an apt to writing, but tell him to write also. It's always good to hear from him. I received uh, letters from Uncle Hernan. Um, Aunt Sarah, I've wrote her. But um, she said a self-addressed envelope. I wrote her, but she hasn't wrote back. Probably real busy. She told me that Johnny was over here, but I don't think they have any Air Force personnel over here. Maybe he's in the Mediterranean someplace, some country in here, but I don't think they have any Air Force personnel over here. Maybe. But um, I was up in um, Bermana. We made daily trips up there to train the Lebanese on the, on the howitzers. 
they seemed pretty aggressive and they had some good NCOs that, that picked up the house really quick which was a little uh, a little uh, town a Christian town that was about uh, 16 miles due, no, uh, due east of here um, the Lebanese army um, some of them really impress me then others they just kind of um, they don't they're not really up to I guess my standards or the the, the Marine Corps standards over here because because basically because some of them really just don't give a darn and some others do but um, I guess they feel that since we're here they really don't you know have to worry about a lot of things but um, <clears throat> Everything basically is going good. Um, they're trying to get us uh, three weeks liberty around Christmas, so that'll be nice. Which, um, my birthday, you know, I've always been off on my birthday, so that's good. Be home then. Um, Dad's uh, supposed to be, uh, by what grandmother told me in the letter, that he's supposed to be sending me a cassette. So that'll be good to hear from him. And, um, Mr. and Mrs. Arnold broke me. Um, Karen said that their house had been broken into, but nothing was really stole, so that's good. Can you give them the Christmas list? Oh, yeah. Okay, um, okay, for Christmas I want, um, three Raging Beauties, a Porsche, and a red truck. Right, and a million dollars. And you can probably handle it, you know. No, uh, just kidding. <laughs> it would be nice, so. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. Um. Six months here without a, uh, without a, uh, <laughs> without women is quite a long time, Dad. <laughs> um. You're probably laughing at me right now, <laughs> but it is a long time. That's right. You used to be a laughter. Right. <laughs> you got a Pepsi can or something up there? Yeah. Hmm? I'll say something. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Is there an empty can up there? Where? Pop can? Anything? No. no. Here. Here's a bun juice. Scorpions around, little buddies. Tell Centipedes. Them about Henry. Tell them about Henry. Henry. You Tell mean Henry. Freddy the Rat? That's Henry. Oh, Henry. Oh, we got two. rats running around here too. There's two of them. Yeah, there's about 50 of them. We've had uh, congressmen over here numerous times. They always out here to check us out. You know, uh, generals come over here. Um, the last time they were here, they almost got bombed. <laughs> right. The uh, Beirut International Airport is totally closed down now. There used to be all kinds of planes coming in. Russian, Hungarian, Jordanian, Israelis. German. All, German, right. All kinds of good planes. Pan Ams. Yeah, Pan Am used to come in twice a week, bring us our mail and some and, um, papers. I've been receiving my news weeks, so it's kind of keeping me in touch with what's going on in the world. We hear, uh, we got a radio station here, Navy Broadcasting Station. We are, we are international news. Every hour in the air, usually, we do. Okay, um, to the, uh, east of us here is the Shoff Mountains. Where all, well, okay, Shoff Mountains. And... To the west of us is the Mediterranean, which is about a mile away. You want to get over there and sit again? Oh, don't, don't, hey, don't, don't smile. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... I'm going to rank and stick in the butt of my 45. I'm going to sing it and do it. Why? Yeah, then it don't cock. Oh. Uh. Cock. <laughs> Damn cave cricket. 
barking spiders. Ooh, man, that's a good one too. Remember, this is non-combat. That's right, Mom and Dad. This is non-combat fatigue. Gee whiz, Doc. <laughs> man, would you have beans? Yeah. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> Those hamburgers today, they didn't have any taste in them. We've been no, ate about dry. half of it. Yeah. I ate all mine. Nothing was cooking. It burnt the hell out of them. <laughs> Sorry, Marie, but you decided to... Uh, Sinclair? Sinclair. Gunny was yeah. cooking them for a while. Gunny was cooking the dogs. Damn! That's just... That <laughs> lingering. <laughs> it's still around. That seeps into the sandbag. Man. Mosquitoes won't bug us tonight. <laughs> really? Burn them out. Thought that attracted Ceasefire. Right. You said they're supposed to have a ceasefire when? Yeah. Tonight. Tonight. One thirty. Yeah. That's what the news said, right? Right uh, now it's three. That's what COVID told me. So they're probably gonna go, you know, hell's fury. Yeah. It's like when the yeah. Israelis. Uh, I'll be, I'll be. You get the le you get the less Christians we can. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send a couple of rounds to the Americans. Is he Christian? Who? The uh, Hey Joe here, you know? Oh, yeah, they're all Christian. Huh? Hey, what did you call them people? What's that? Reggaeheads? No. Druze? No. Shiites? No. Muslims? You know what I mean. What? I do. Numbies? Nijis. Oh, Nijis. Nijis. The Nijis. You don't know what a You don't know what a Niji is? <laughs> My gosh, what kind of corman are you? Niji? Niji. Niji. What's a Niji? A Niji is a hatchet carrying Muslim. Oh, is that right? Hatchet mm -hmm. people. Hatchet people. Darkness. When you least expect these puts your skull. And EJs will attack you. Just push your skull all the way down here in the river. And EJ come near as me, he's gonna get a 45 bullet between his headlights. <laughs> Why this anyway, to change the subject the about the EJs. Okay. Let's crump old Vineyard. Where are you from? Roanoke, Virginia. Star City of the South. Oorah. Okay. Doc, where you from? The Big Apple. The Big Apple. Who's that, man? <laughs> <laughs> I got Big Kirkman, Apple where you from? Where I live. Kirkman, I'm from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Where's that? Yeah, that's where I Wisconsin. heard of Wisconsin. That's south of Naha, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Just, they finally just made, did, well, did, kind of south did they use that for a nuclear test or something? I think they did. Uh-huh. Yeah, one's <laughs> there. Uh-huh. A few tracer rounds going off. Just let me know if they're coming this way. Going off all by themselves. Right. No big thing. If we get a few of them. Zing! Pep! They must have, I wonder if they must have not been hurt very bad. I didn't hear no choppers come in. No, they said they weren't hurt that bad, but they don't know about 81's of Charlie yet. Yeah. Here we go. We're getting down there further. <laughs> Expend all remaining rounds. Yeah, buddy. Shoot some WP on the troops. Ah, yeah. <laughs> no, they're dream of dead they, they, babies roasting on an eight pound grill. Basically. I don't think we're gonna shoot tonight. Don't let anybody shoot, they'll let the Jersey shoot. Oh man, oh, sixteen sure. inches? Sure they will. Turret number one ready, turret number two ready, uh -huh. turret number three ready. They can't, they gotta fire them, all three of them. So they have, they have three turrets, so. They can fire them all at once, simultaneously, any way they want to. They got six on the front and three on the rear. Yeah. Black. Six to the front and three to the rear. Come on a second, let's get in here. They are frying things. Right, left, right. Is that cadence before the Navy? No, that was cadence with the FMF. Oh, is that right? Yeah, well, I went to a few minutes ago. Yeah. yeah. I was in, in, in the second camp platoon. Johnson? I was in the second platoon. Third fire team. Third camp fire Johnson? team? Yeah. You guys had fire teams? Yeah. Pretty wild. Yeah, I was the wow. AR man. Where are you going next? You're going back to the ships when you get back, right? I'm going back to 110. 
Oh boy. Yeah, but <laughs> Doc, you, I mean, I saw you talking to the XO, and you said something about you just want to try to get back with your neighbor. <laughs> you so sure? Yeah, in the club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are Mom. We live? Huh? Are we live? Yes, we are live. We are live. Back yes. again. Okay, Mom. I heard. Um, live from Beirut. It's Sunday night. Right. Okay, I heard. Um, and let's see. A letter from my Grandma that um, that the new hospital opened uh, September the 11th, and uh, Senator Bumpers were there for the ribbon cutting ceremonies, and you've been working a lot of hours to get everything ready. For the new hospital to open. What are they going to do with the old one? So write and tell me about that. I'm going to blow it up. Huh? I'm going to blow it up. Never know. Bring it over here. I'm sure it'll be how everything do it. Right. Time to get done. It's night time. Quarter after nine. Two more hours and we'll be through. Peacekeeping is hell. Here. What? No, I got some. You don't like that? Yeah. This is going all the way to Arkansas, huh? Yes. Arkansas. Ooh, Arkansas. Southwest you Arkansas. It. I handed Open it up. to you. I know you didn't. <laughs> you pushed my hand, you dropped it. You got a light? Get light over here. Light, light. Light up. Well, yeah, we we used to have daily patrols going through the city. Uh, I get that. But uh, sometimes one or two a day. But now we stopped them since all this all this sporadic fighting kind of broken out. Mm -hmm. We just stay in our position here on top of the hill. No PT. Man, no PT. Man in the bunkers. Um, stay on the gun line a lot. No beer. No women. Right. <sighs> Well, there was no women in the first place, but right. they always walked by. But on patrols, at least we get to see them. You yeah. Know? That must be Believe nice. me, I saw a lot of women. Yeah, they were. Some of them pretty nice too, you know. Mm -hmm. Some of them you couldn't see their faces. Yeah. Had a rag over their head. <laughs> really? That's why they call them ragheads. Right. It is definitely live here. <laughs> Won't you stay? A uh, bird. Monking bird. <laughs> you know what they look like? Yeah. Monking bird. Okay. I think. I think the state, the state tree is a pine. Pine? Mm-hmm. Pine tree. What's the state motto? It reminds me of Lebanon. Oh, the land of opportunity. Really? Yeah. And my motto is? What's New York? Excelsior. Yeah? You know yeah. what Virginia's is? That's Latin. Uh, for don't tell me. Ever upward. What's, no, tell me not. The Old Dominion. Old Dominion? I thought it was Virginia's for lovers or something. That too. Yeah. Uh, we got New York is the Big Apple. State is the Empire State. Let's see. We're back in the bunkers again. Again. We're getting shot at and we can't shoot back. So we're back in the bunkers again. Hoorah. Eat burnt baby barbecue bodies. Eat burnt baby barbecue bodies. Eat burnt baby barbecue bodies. So that three times fast and scratch your stomach. <laughs> back your head. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah. We're supposed to leave here. Around November the 15th, and be in Moorhead City, North Carolina, around December the 7th. So everybody's really eager to go home. They're already tired of this place, but been tired. Been tired of it. There's um, 2,000 more Marines waiting off the coast here if something really does happen I'm to support us. They're from Hawaii. Tire wise out there. Right. They got uh, what? They got two extra Cobras and six Harriers. Right. I think they got a battery of O5s. Right. 81s. Mm -hmm. Tanks. 
They also got the uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower aircraft carrier, which has got over nine. It's got at least 90. 96 aircraft. Right. Uh, A6 and A4s, which is for close ground air support if we need them. Then they got the uh, F-14 Tomcats, which is mostly a, a uh, fighter fighter type uh, fighter jet. Fighter bomber. Yeah, right. But it should do anything anyway. Here comes the fire engine. The, uh, they fly over. The F-14s fly over. Um, I ain't heard them flying over. On unoccasional there. days and make reconnaissance report. Here comes a fire on truck it. up this way. Keep your eye on that guy. They drive around, you know, with the lights on. They, they, I don't know if they're looking for a fire or they're going to make a fire. Yeah, they're trying to say, the Americans are here. They are over here. Woo! Of course, they already know that. Yeah. Turn on your siren. Woo! 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 Okay, we also have British, Italian, French, and French. French. They're part of the uh, multinational peacekeeping force, but there's only small contingencies of those here, not as as large as ours. No, I think they, they're bigger than us, except what? the British. The British, British got 250 people. Like the town's got 2,000. The Italians got that many? Yeah, and I think the French got, you know, 2,500. Mm. We I got never see French around. Hardly. And of course we got the Israelis down the road. Yeah, they pulled out, but they're still down the road. I still, I still trust them and the Brits more than I do the Italians and the French. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Again. Mm -hmm. I like it. The moon out again? Huh? Last night it wasn't out. Oh yeah, I got two friends. Um, they're not in my artillery battery here, the one I'm in, but one's that um, one's a corpsman that I was on Okinawa with. He thinks he's got two friends. Well, <laughs> and uh, the other one's um, he's working in a postal now. He was in the same battery I was in Okinawa. So I've seen them and talked to them. We reminisce about old times. And Doc, you didn't by any chance bring any pop tarts with you, did you? No, I've left them down the bush. I brought, I brought my pop tarts and my yodels last night. All I had was left them with pop tarts. I didn't get one yodel. Yeah. Mm. I didn't eat none last night. You know who ate them? Sergeant Marie. Sergeant uh, Sinclair and Marie. Sergeant, uh, I thought it was Sergeant Sullivan. He was. We used to have uh, volleyball games quite frequently and softball, but all that's been cut out now. Yeah, the last softball game we had, uh, the fighting started. Oh, yeah? The castle game. And we, I tell you one thing, we were kicking guns butt. Who? We had headquarters. Yeah? We had them like 23, 15. And then that started. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, well, we'll cancel the softball game. They, you know, they're getting a lot of Purple Hearts out now. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. Mm -hmm. They can keep that one. I want one. Good. Stand up on top of your bunker and wave your arms. I'm sure you'll I get mean, one. I mean, just a little, we'll a little we'll neck or something. You know? A little flesh. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If I get a little neck, I don't want no Purple Heart. Well, they give us all the medals they want, just as long as I, I go I mean, home. you know, big enough to matter. But not big enough to kill me or something. I mean, or lose a limb or something like that. Just you know, nice big scar. Oh, a nice big scar. Yeah. War hero. Yeah. We're already war heroes. But I want to be a No, we're not. We're not non combat, combat heroes. heroes. Don't yeah. listen to the president. That's such a big cover up. He's a liar. That's See? such a big cover up. Because, you know, they they trying to tell Congress that we're non combat and all that. And they know the difference, so, you know, the congressman that's been over here. You know, we've been shot at, shelled at, and everything else. So. Killed, wounded. Yep. Hurt, disgraced. <clears throat> well, well, we got you. 
pick our faces up out of there a couple times. Yeah. <sighs> I'm sleepy. You know, you have Amtrak. Get any coffee, Doc? <laughs> Amtrak pulled up down there. Right, and I started farming 50 cows up here. I'd hit this, that gas pump down there. Pull them all up. Mm -hmm. You mean that gas station down there? Uh huh. They blow that gas station and they're gonna wipe out this hill. No. Oh yeah. No. Man, no. I saw, when I was in the junior fire department, I saw films when gas, gas tanks would blow. They blow. Yeah, it's gonna take those um, Amtrak's with them too. They ain't gonna blow this hill up. Okay, the, the way we got our rounds set out, if one round gets hit or gets hot enough, yeah, it's got, everything uh, else is gonna go. Really, but you know that stuff's in bunkers and stuff. You know? Still, I just still blow the gas station and take my chances. Yeah, well, <laughs> and they didn't get that hot. Well, you blow that gas station a lot, and some people gonna get killed. <laughs> I still think we should do a B-52 strike on one of these mountains. Do one of Gospel's ideas? Not like what? B-52, the whole place with napalm. No. Get bulldozers and bulldozer the whole place flat and make a big parking lot out of this whole country. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't, you That's don't, not a bad idea. You don't, you don't pet, pet like his, uh, I, what do you know what he wants to do? What? He wants to take all the good Lebanese out on mic boats, right? Yeah. And then he wants to fly <laughs> Fly a nuke over here and just nuke it. Then bring over the big cement sh cement machine and cement the whole place over, and then start building again. And just to make sure you got all the good, all the bad ones, nuke the mic books too. <laughs> well, he's he's got a per you know I don't I feel sorry for him because you know he's got a personal vendetta with these people. Pele? Yeah, he's in Israel. He said, he said it was with the IDF. You know, I don't like really him. Towards, if you take that for it's worth. I don't like Paley. No? He seems like good, a weirdo. He's a good guy. He's really, really good guy. The he got on CL's nerves, man. He almost got put on 60 days mess duty. First. What do you do? I don't see. I just couldn't get along with him. Kind of cooled out, though, you know. You're talking about uh, Mincer. Oh, Mincer? Yuck. Ugh. Oh man, he gets everybody's nice. Man, he knows his job and everything, but he's really. You know, they said when he first came in, right? He had like broken, rigid, rotten teeth in front. He did. God, that guy must have been ugly as That's sin. Why him yuck. What's that? That's why they call him yuck. That was what yuck last year in 29 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, the last year 29 pounds, I was with yuck. Corporal Lee, Sergeant Savage, who's the corporal then? One year later, we're back in another desert. A year ago, I was at the Lejeune. Corporal Lee, Sergeant Savage, who's the corporal then? A year ago, I was I've been at Lejeune a little over a month. A little over a month. Well, look who you volunteered for this, didn't you? Me? Yeah, yeah. Why'd you come to the battery? Charlie battery? Why don't you come to the 10th Marines? Uh, August uh, 22nd of Maybe last too? year. Yeah. What did you just, you just missed the, you just made the float. What's that? For the Northern Wedding. No, I didn't go. Oh, you missed that one? I was in Delta 210 then. Uh, Until March 26th of this year. Ooh. Man, you mean to tell me I've been with the 10th Marines longer than you? Huh? Yeah, that was, then I was in the 12th Marines for a year. And before that, I was in the 11th Marines for a year. You know what's pretty, pretty embarrassing? What's that? I've been in the Marine Corps longer than Hutton. Yeah? Mm -hmm. 
cut and it's looking like he's been in a German refugee camp starving. I can't talk. He don't look as bad as he does though. Oh, gain weight. I'm surprised. <laughs> I've lost about 15 pounds. How many? About 15. Yeah.